Hey friends, this is the story of a dog from a very rich family, and the name of the dog is Tricky. He had everything in plenty and led a very very luxurious life. You must have heard a very popular proverb that excess of everything is bad. This proverb is the best fit on the central character of the chapter, a triumph of surgery. The dog had excessiveness of many things like the excessive love of his mistress Mrs Pumphrey excessive care excessive greed for food excessive comfort and due to all this excessive fat and other related diseases Let's find out how the dog was treated and who are the characters involved in the whole chapter and what do they want to tell us through the story Means we have to discuss about the author characters theme title explanation of the text and finally message of the lesson with some notes the author james harriet has been a british veterinary surgeon and of course a writer additionally i'd like to add that he was a good psychologist as well and most of his writing works are related to the real life experiences and the same goes with this chapter also the present story is also believed to be taken from his real life experience so After knowing a little about the author, let's get in touch with the characters. Point of attention is that characterization is one of the most important parts of any chapter from exam point of view. Usually questions based on the character sketches are asked and the trick to cover these questions is you need not cram the whole long answers, but you need to keep the adjectives in mind and frame answers on the basis of them. like the first character is tricky he is a dog he is the central character of the story he is fat and hefty bloated never refuses to eat you can add that he has greed for food he became dull lazy flabby listless and these adjectives are going to make the most perfect character sketch of tricky let's meet the next character and the second is mrs pumphrey She is a very rich lady and she is the mistress of Tricky and she is passionately attached to her little dog Tricky always worried about the dog spoilt her dog due to her love over caring and over concerned and the third is Dr James Harriet he is the writer of the story means the writer himself is present in the story he is an experienced and competent veterinary surgeon practical and pragmatic not only a doctor but a psychologist also and finally he is humorous as well now let's see what the theme of the lesson is means basically what are the ideas behind the story and i think idea number 1 is that excess of everything is bad and here it has been proved through the blind love of mrs pumphrey for her dog and secondly change of environment can be very effective We'll see this through Tricky's life. And if we talk about the title The Triumph of Surgery, it is really an appropriate title. The battle of sickness was fought without weapons. Means the treatment of Tricky was done without medications. So it was like winning a battle. That's why including triumph in the title seems to be very very appropriate and suggestive. Now we have to find out how all this happened. means how the treatment without medications went on so let's dive into the word to word explanation but before that we need to keep in mind that wherever i has been used in the chapter it means the writer himself the beginning is that the writer was going somewhere by his car and on the road he noticed his patient dog tricky and his mistress pumphrey and what happens then let's find out The writer says that he got really worried to see the dog this time means he had treated this dog earlier also so the writer who is a doctor as well stopped his car because he was shocked to see the look of the dog and let me tell you that the dog had become very very fat and the writer says that it looked like a sausage and even bloated means swollen or balloon like sausage is a meat stuffed dish and the writer thinks that four legs are inserted into the sausage the dog's eyes were blood like red and there was watery discharge from the eyes and nose he was looking straight and his tongue was hanging from his mouth so this is the condition of the dog 
Now Mrs Pumphrey means the owner of the dog started speaking everything very quickly she said you so listless mr harriet he seems to have no energy i thought he must be suffering from malnutrition so i have been giving him some little extras between meals to build him up some malt cod liver oil and a bowl of horlicks and blah 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 means she wanted to speak everything within the single breath she informed the doctor that she feared that the dog must be suffering from poor diet that's why he was feeling dull so she was giving him little extras between meals like malt cod liver oil and a bowl of horlicks and nothing much really so dear readers try to understand the character of this lady she says nothing much after listening to this all the doctor had to ask did you reduce the quantity of sweet things as i told you on this question she answered oh i tried to cut down for a short period of time but you know he seemed to be so weak that i could not continue that behavior for a long time and ultimately he likes cream cakes and chocolates so i cannot be so strict and i give him these things the writer looked at the dog and quickly understood that the dog was always hungry for food he could handle food comfortably at any time either day or night but this part was not mentioned by the lady but the doctor was smart enough to understand that the dog was greedy and the lady was over caring and then the doctor asked are you giving him plenty of exercise and the answer was well not much these days as you can see he walks with me only and the gardener whose name is hodgkin is also suffering from back pain so there is no ring throwing activity also Now the writer tried to sound strict and show his anger and said I really mean to say if you don't cut short his food and give him proper exercise he is going to be seriously ill so hard on your heart and follow the diet plan strictly Mrs Pumphrey wrung her hands basically this action is wringing of hands so twisting and waving her hands and showing determination Mrs Pumphrey said you are right doctor though it is difficult but i'll have a try and then she started returning back with head down and it seemed that she had really decided that she would immediately start following the plan prescribed by doctor here i ask you a question do you think that she'll be able to act upon the doctor's advice okay let's find out the writer had been observing their progress with worry because tricky's condition had gone bad to worse from last time So for now while they were moving back Tricky was moving very very uneasily in his royal woolen coat Here the writer tells about Tricky that he had a full almira of clothes at home and there were coats for the cold weather rainy season and all the other seasons as well But now even walking was a big struggle for him he was bending downwards in his harness means belt for neck Observing this Mr Harriet was pretty sure then that mrs pumphrey would surely call him soon because he had judged that tricky was going to fall seriously ill and you'll be amazed to know that the doctor was absolutely right within a few days the doctor received the expected call from mrs pumphrey she was extremely worried the condition of the dog had gone bad to worse he had stopped eating even his favorite food and what were his favorite food cream cakes and chocolates and now the dog was vomiting very frequently he kept lying on a rug like a patient taking short quick and frequent breaths means he was getting lifeless because the dog did not show any interest in anything including walks now the doctor tells the readers that his plans were ready well in advance because he was confident that mrs pumphrey would definitely call him He says that the only way means the only treatment for the dog was to keep him away from his home. So he suggested that the dog should be hospitalized for 15 days as he wanted to observe the dog very closely. Finally, the doctor reached to take the dog with him. The lady loved the dog so much that she got nearly soon means fainted on listening to that the dog was going away from her for 15 days. She thought that the dog would definitely die if he did not see his mistress every day. The writer says that I took this tough decision that I would hospitalize him because he was seriously ill and the only way to save him was to take it without delay. So, 
he moved out of the car but the lady crying bitterly with pain of separation was following him but the doctor did not stop he wrapped the dog in a blanket and took it with him in a car in this farewell the whole staff was put to work maids were going in coming out with the different things of tricky like day bed his night bed favorite cushions toys and rubber rings breakfast bowl lunch bowl and supper bowl etc here the writer makes fun and says that i was thinking that my poor car would not be able to accommodate all these things so i started driving very quickly but the lady was so dramatic that she started crying far more bitterly and threw some coats of tricky through the window into the car while the writer drove off he looked into the side mirror and found that everyone was crying in this mrs pumphrey was actually crying but the others had to cry as a part of their duty the next paragraph is so while driving back to the hospital the writer looked down at the sick and the miserable dog and the condition of the dog was so poor that it was struggling even to breathe so the writer patted on his head affectionately and the dog accepted the affection and tried to swing his tail but the writer said leave it dear leave it i know that you don't have strength even to do this but don't worry i know the best treatment for you now let's see what is the doctor going to do is he going to operate the dog to reduce his fat or it is a wonderful kind of treatment where without surgery he is going to be a successful surgeon and he can play a triumph of surgery when the writer reached his hospital the other dogs gathered round him and tricky also started looking at the group of the dogs with very dull eyes and when the writer kept him on the ground he kept lying motionless means the condition of the dog was really very pitiable the other dogs were really smart enough they smelled tricky for a few seconds and ignored him thinking that he was an uninteresting thing see the level of dogs thinking so here you have to understand that even dogs don't like the boring people now onwards the actual surgery is started let's see how it all happened the writer made a bed for tricky in a warm loose box near the ones where the other dogs used to sleep and for next two days the writer kept a strict eye on tricky and gave him no food but plenty of water he did so because tricky was already overweight and fortunately the doctor's methods were very positively impacting the dog fortunately at the end of the second day he showed some interest in the surroundings and on the third day the dog started reacting by producing some unhappy or frightened sounds to show unhappiness on listening to the other dogs in the yard means he became a little more active then when on the third day the writer opened the door tricky started running out with short steps and then came the examiners means he was surrounded by the other dogs there was a dog named joe he came and his other friends also came to meet tricky the breed of joe was greyhound they all inspected that fatty dog completely and then moved away towards the garden and fortunately tricky showed some interest and followed them moving slowly with his excessive fat overall it was a very positive sign that he was showing interest now tricky has learned something also let's see how Later that day the routine work of giving food started the writer was giving food to the dogs and as usual a dog named Tristan was eating very hurriedly and spilling also and you must have observed the dogs eating food they use their tongue to pick up and spill a little portion of food out of the bowls here basically the writer is focusing on how the dogs used to eat food There was a thoughtless quickness with the sounds of the high speed eating. Every dog had to be active because they knew if the food is slowly eaten so all the other dogs would finish their meal and would start eating from the others and there would be tough competition for the end meal. Now when all the dogs had finished Tricky started walking around very casually means very normally and he had nothing to eat. so he had to lick one or two bowls 
Here basically the writer wants all of us to understand a very popular quotation by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. People who wait only get what is left by the people who try. So now Tricky had learned to try. Finally, on the fourth day, the writer thought it suitable to put an extra bowl for Tricky. And he was really pleased to see that Tricky was getting more and more active. The way he was pushing his way now, he did not seem to be so casual as he used to be earlier. Means now he was far more active. And then onwards, Tricky started doing a very good progress. Though he was not given any special medication, but he became so active that he started running with the other dogs, playing with friendly and healthy struggle. And ultimately, this was the reason that he was getting better. Actually, Tricky was enjoying all the play with the other dogs. And the games included pushing from up, getting feet on him by the other dogs, squeezing and that even every minute. Miss, most of these activities used to happen very frequently. The writer is now focusing on the change. And he says that now Tricky had become an accepted member of the group. The other dogs were Shaggy, who had rough, long, uncut hair. But Tricky was silky little object among those dogs. Because he was royal due to the pampering of Mrs. Pumphrey. Now let's see what he used to do with the other dogs. Though he was small, but he used to fight with them like a tiger for his share of meal. He also used to hurt rats from the hen house. And he was feeling like he had never had such a wonderful time in his life earlier. In the meantime, let's see how is Mrs. Pumphrey. Mrs. Pumphrey kept on moving restlessly here and there at her home all the times and kept on calling the doctor more than 12 times a day. And for what? The answer is simple. She wanted to know the latest and the breaking news of her dog. And the doctor was smart enough. He used to avoid the useless questions like Are you turning his questions regularly? Is he wearing the correct coat according to the weather? The doctor simply responded that her dog was out of danger and convalescing means recovering from his sickness very fast. When Mrs. Pumphrey heard the word convalescing means recovering, she adopted her previous attitude. It seemed that something happened to Mrs. Pumphrey. She started bringing at least two dozens of fresh eggs to build up Tricky's strength, including some other things as well. The doctor seemed to be very happy on this because eggs were not to be given to Tricky, but they were to be consumed by him only and his partners. The partners may include his friends, co-workers or anyone. And all of them used to have 2-2 two, two eggs for breakfast. After that, Mrs. Pumphrey started sending wine also. Then onwards, the real situation of enjoyment was understood in the hospital. All the staff members were enjoying things sent by Mrs. Pumphrey. It stands for wine. Mrs. Pumphrey used to send wine because she thought that it would improve the quality of Tricky's blood. Because of Tricky, all were enjoying so much that the lunch time seemed to be a party time, with two glasses of wine before and several during the meal. Another surprise came now which was brandy. So first eggs, then wine and finally brandy. The writer says that all of them could not believe that they were going to consume free brandy. But it was actually sent to make Tricky's blood composition most perfect. The writer says that for a few nights, the precious alcoholic drink means brandy was also smelled, enjoyed and drunk very respectfully at the hospital. All were enjoying due to Tricky's presence. Amazing days. All the surgery members were deeply satisfied with this type of treatment. They started their day with extra eggs for the breakfast and this improved routine continued with wine in the midday. And at night, they used to sit around the fire and enjoyed brandy. But all this was happening only with the presence of Tricky. The writer tells that he was so happy with the presence of Tricky that it became an attraction to continue keeping him as a permanent guest because he wanted to enjoy parties going on because of Tricky. 
On the other hand, the writer knew that Mrs. Pumphrey was suffering. So, after 15 days, the writer was compelled, means forced to call her and tell that her little dog had recovered and she could take him. So, the writer had to call Mrs. Pumphrey. And after calling, surprisingly, within a few minutes, approximately 30 feet long, black, shining royal car stopped outside the hospital. The driver opened the door. This word is actually called chauffeur. The writer could get a glimpse of Mrs. Pumphrey. She was really lost in the dreams of meeting her most loving, charming and pleasing dog inside the car. Her hands were tightly clutched with each other in front of her. Her lips were shaking badly, like she was going to meet her lost brother after 12 years of Mahakumbh. Now she very sentimentally asked Mr. Harriet, Please tell me the truth. Is everything okay? Is he really better? Mr. Harriet responded in a very satisfying tone. Yes, he is fine. And you need not come out of the car. I'll go and bring him myself. The writer walked through the house and reached the garden. Actually, the garden and house are attached. Where the group of dogs was playing, moving round and round in the lawn. And in the middle of them was the royal figure of little golden Tricky, who was shaking his ears and waving his tail. The writer tells that within the duration of two weeks, he got such a big change that he became flexible. His muscles had become harder, means he became strong. He also used to do stretching of his body like the other dogs. And while he used to stretch up his body, he was so flexible that his chest used to touch the ground. Ultimately, the one who faced a difficulty even in walking and breathing was running now, doing stretching and bouncing as well. The writer carried him to the front of the house through a long gallery and reached the front of the house. The driver was still standing holding the door of the car. And as soon as Tricky saw his mistress, he took off like a flight from the writer's arms with a high-speed jump and set into the lap of Mrs. Pumphrey. And she shouted saying, Oh! Because the jump was like an electric shock and she had to save herself. Because Tricky came like a flood and he started barking loudly and licking her face. It's clear that Tricky was also missing his mistress and now he was showing his love. The writer says when all this was going on, he helped the driver to bring all the belongings of Tricky, which included beds, toys, cushions, coats and bows and surprisingly, none of them had been used even once. The car started moving back and Mrs. Pumphrey seemed very very emotional. She was leaning outside through the window. She was crying bitterly and her lips were shaking badly. Now, in the same emotional manner, she cried out. Oh, Mr. Harriet, how to thank you, she said. The surgery you performed is the most successful one. So, this is the triumph of surgery. Basically, it was the treatment in the most perfect way without medicines and operation. So, it was really a triumph of surgery. Now, in the end, let me ask you a question. What do you think? Mrs. Pumphrey would stop giving him all the food like before? I think no. I'm sure that after a few days, the party of the doctor would start again. Miss Tricky is most likely to go to the doctor again. And it proves that it is very difficult to change nature and signature, which is the message of the lesson. Finally, thank you so much for watching.